welcome back. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. Here we are in 2021. January has come around so quickly. I've been sitting on some vlog footage and I didn't want that to just get lost in the void. My dog is on my bed over there, staring at me intently. Oh my God. Honestly, if she's gonna keep moaning, then she's just gonna be in the video. <laughs> so for the first video of the new year, I thought that I would make the most out of the content that I never managed to get into a video from at the end of last year. The first place I went to the end of last year was more of an antique and flea market. Um, you guys will know if, if you've been watching a long time, I love going to that flea market. But unfortunately, this time it was a complete and utter washout. It was absolutely tipping it down, which unfortunately meant that all of the outside stores were closed, obviously. Um, and they kind of all tried to squidge into two warehouses, which were both undercover. I wasn't as lucky as I have been in previous years. Um, I literally only got one tiny little charm thing so it really wasn't worth making a video out of but Amelia on the other hand did get a few nice things which I vlogged and the week after we actually went into Worcester city centre and there are a lot of charity shops there um really close to each other so we did like a mini charity shop crawl um which is the only kind of crawl we're gonna be doing <laughs> RIP to the pubs Luckily, I did manage to find much more in the charity shops than I did at the flea market. Um, but again, that as a standalone video, there wasn't enough content there. So basically, long story short, what I've decided to do is merge them both together. I hope you enjoy coming around thrifting with me and I will see you at the end where I'll give you a little haul of the things that I bought and I'll be able to show you in closer detail. Say bye, Shen. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm currently uh, at a petrol station. Um, Emilio has just gone in to get an umbrella because he's forgotten an umbrella but today today we're going to the Malvern Antique and Flea Market again um, that man is staring at me Emilio's in a bit of a grumpy mood because he's left his umbrella at home and it's tipping it down with rain um, I've had my hair cut I've had like a fringe in hope you like it I had a breakdown about it start crying um, and then realised it really wasn't that much different and got a life and got over it, so, oh. <laughs> Did I just sit on my own bag? <laughs> that was the most dramatic entry to a car ever. Okay, we're gonna I'm actually- so wet. <sighs> Bye. So Amelia's just found this really cute like date uh, calendar for your desk. How cute is that? But like the bottom is a little bit tatty. But I've said to him that like he could probably you could probably cure that leather. I think it's worth asking how much it is. I love that. Yeah. Go and ask. <laughs> Yay! Drawn first blood. <laughs> now let's let's see what else we can find. Oh no, here we go. She's found something. <laughs> She's found something gold. I'm just thinking like for the wall of the loft. Yeah, that would be really nice. Put something on top, but I it, have so much gold Show the top though. It's got like a little red so you can like sit something in it quite easily. Like but I've got so much gold stuff already. Oh, it's only nine it's pounds. It's nine pounds? That's a I steal? Mean, I can't impulse. I can't. I can't. Oh, that is so cute. <gasps> wow. I love these, they're amazing. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that literally fits like a glove. <laughs> Go and look in the mirror, where is it? It's so cool. So Emilio bought that jacket. Um, 
I have literally bought nothing apart from a little tiny charm that cost me a pound. It's always the way one of us usually yeah. does really well and Last the other time doesn't. I saw nothing, but Ellie had like three toes. <laughs> So uh, we're in Worcester now and because the Malvern was quite, Malvern was pretty, well it was it was really a lot smaller than it has been because um, it was, it was tipping it down with so rain. Yeah. So we've decided to come out today again and go and have a look around some of the charity shops. So I'm going to put it all in one video. So here you go. Amelia has just bought that denim jacket for £5. What a steal. And we're en route to a vintage shop here. But Amelia has been to loads of times before, but I have never. I'll show you what it's like. Oh my God, Ellie, it's your doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> Love that weave, girl. Oh my God. How exciting. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. That's, That's it. so you. That's I don't a think it's joke. Like, it might not be loud, but it's still so pretty. That's actually that is so sixties. <laughs> it might fit you try it on. That is mad, I can't believe look at the bell. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Ellie has found a tote bag. I think it's cool. Yeah. I thought it had a rucksack, rucksack strapped when I saw it first. What do you think? Look at that that we find as well. It's like a necktie. So that was all the footage that I managed to film on those two days. Um, but I thought that I would still film a little bit at the end, kind of showing you in more detail what I actually picked up. So the first thing I got is this little Chanel pendant. This is the only thing that I got from Malvern. It was on one of my favourite stores where there's just tables and trays of everything you can imagine and you have to filter through and it's a pound for whatever you find. This is the only thing that I grabbed but it's so pretty. I don't know in what context I'll use this but I saw it and I thought it was cute and it was a pound so I just picked it up. See it's little things like this that you can come away with sometimes. Like I said really small but still really cute. So moving on to the charity shops. We must have been to like four charity shops before I found anything and I really thought it was going to be another case of Emilio finds loads of stuff and I find nothing at all but I did find this tote bag as you will have seen in the vlog footage um it's double-sided in this like tapestry of a Mona Lisa I love it I'm always on the lookout for tote bags just because they're so useful for work just to chuck everything in a lot of the time I have to take this poochie in so it's good to have a big bag that I can chuck a lead in and stuff like that so this was I believe like five pounds I can't remember exactly I think I probably mentioned the price in the vlog footage and then the final two things that I bought uh, were from the same charity shop <laughs> first one is this pearl tie. 
I saw it on the model and I thought that's really different and it was down for £1.50. I think I may wear it with a shirt or even with like an off the shoulder top just to have that there. I think that would be really, really different. So the last thing is probably the most exciting thing and it is this uh, genuine leather. I think it's a man bag. Um, it's almost like a mini document holder, but it has uh, a shoulder strap, which I love. Love the gold detailing. It's got two compartments on the inside and also another compartment at the front, which is really good for putting my wallet in and my phone, which I really like. Um, the only thing about this is the strap is really uncomfortable. So I think I'm gonna try and get a different strap for this. It's so cheap and there's definitely a vintage vibe about it. So yes, that was a really quick haul. I was just very aware that I still wanted to make use of the vlog footage. Oh, uh, I think Shelly wants to say bye. Thank you very much for watching with our little guest today. Look after yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Say bye, Shen. Bye.